Today I bring you the man who cut me off in the middle of the road and almost caused me and my horse to die, and my top five ways to dispose of people who piss you off in Red Dead Redemption 2. Number one, extreme dynamite death. Oh my god, I got him all the way over the trees. This is by far my favorite way, which is why we put it as number one. I think that might have been the farthest explosion yet. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is pick out a location to sacrifice the person who crossed you. I like picking a little high spot so I can gaze upon their majestic burning body as they fly through the sky. And this is a pretty darn good spot. Now, to get the full effect of this, you're going to want to use 16 dynamite. You're going to want to use 8 regular and 8 volatile. Now, you can make the 8 volatile with a regular dynamite and animal fat. I highly recommend farming up ducks for that. And you can literally just look at the ground, press R2, and you're going to stack all of this in the same spot. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now comes a little bit of the tedious part. You got to get your uh, sacrifice perfectly placed with its head on the dynamite. This will create some kind of like lever action where they will beautifully somersault through the air extremely far. It takes a little bit of time. But you can usually drop them, kind of just position their body, and you just got to get their head right on the dynamite. <laughs> and we're going to be good to go. This guy's going to make it over those trees. Oh, Jesus! So as you can see, blowing people up is incredibly satisfying. Now we're going to head on to number two. And no, it's not dragging people behind a horse. While that is incredibly satisfying, it's not number two. For that, we're going to drag this guy all the way up to Katora Springs and show you another fun way to dispose of bodies. Now, once here, you're going to want to go to one of these amazing geysers. And you're going to want to be a little careful to not be all up inside of it when it goes off, but we are gonna drop this guy on top of it. Let's see if we can do this appropriately. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hey, <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Horse do you have any, do you have any last words for, for cutting me off? Huh? Huh? You should learn how to ride your damn horse and not swerve into the middle of the road or even off the road in the direction that I'm going. <laughs> oh, this is for some reason incredibly entertaining. I think we got to get his head in there because if we can get his head in there, then it'll drown while it's going off. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that one was so good. It launched. Where'd he go? Oh, I think he's in the... He's he's like legit in the hole. He's... Oh, he's definitely done that time. I really want... <laughs> Can I get him out? I really wanted to still use him. Come here. Come on. Let me let me get him. I didn't mean for him to fall all the way in the geyser, but that's, that's pretty great. Oh, I don't think I can get him out. Well, I guess we're going to have to get another person for this next part. Now you can also drown him if you so desire, but sticking him inside the geyser, way, way better. So number three requires just a little bit of patience. You're going to need to capture your victim first, if, if you want to do this while they're alive, at least. And then it's going to require you to cut them free when you get close to a bridge. And then you don't want to hog time, but you do want to get them again with your lasso. So that way you can drag them. So this involves a little bit of dragging. Okay, a little bit of hog tying and a little bit of a bridge. Okay, boy. Oh, okay. It's going to want us to be on our horse first. There we go. Now, what you need to do is you need to get the person on basically one side of the bridge first. And then you can start walking across it, which will allow you to dangle this person from the bridge and, and pretty much hang them. So you want to get a little bit closer. There we go. Come on, baby. I don't want to actually go off the bridge with my horse. Like I said, it takes a little bit of horse. Turn, buddy. Good horse. Good horse. Come on, baby. Stay in our first rodeo. There we go. And as we go, he's going to get dragged. And you can have fun with this as long as you want. You know? 
I like doing this to the KKK members. Oh, I dropped him early. Well, that's unfortunate. But we did get to hang him from it for a little while. What I like to do is get him out to the middle of a nice big bridge, watch him squirm for a little bit, and then drop him. And this way he gets dropped and then drowned, which is arguably better. This is actually really pretty right here right now. It's a good day for murder. Is it bad that once I'm up here, all I want to do is just launch him off of this with dynamite? It's such a beautiful end. I mean, he won't have a head, so he can't see it, but still, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, anyways, we're not going to give him any last words. Farewell, sweet prince. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I guess karma finally got the best of me on that one. I could have cut it out and re-recorded it, but I feel like... You guys would get a laugh out of my epic failure there. Feel free to roast me in the comments below. But regardless, we're headed to number five. Now, number five is probably a bit of a fan favorite, and that's feeding somebody to a predator. Now, we got to get him through this water here. We don't want him to drown. We want to feed him to an alligator here. Now, it doesn't have to be an alligator. You could do this with bears as well, but, you know, alligator is a little bit of fun. And bears are, <laughs> are very dangerous. So, we're going to see if we can feed him to this alligator right here. Now, when you're doing this, you do want to be particularly careful. Because you could very well get your booty eaten like groceries. And I've never actually tried to just drag him in front of an alligator before. Which seems particularly entertaining for me right now. Uh, so, let's see if this gator will attack this guy. If we just drag him up to it. Come on, I brought you a snack, buddy. There we go. Okay. Okay. Come on, Gator. You know you want him. Oh, he's just ignoring him. So I guess we do have to hog tie and bring him up to him. I mean, do I have to, like, put him in your mouth? I swear to God, if you attack me instead of this guy, I'm gonna be so mad. Come on, Gator. Come on. He's, like, all up in your mouth. All you gotta do is just turn and eat him. That's funny that you actually need to pick him up. That's so unfortunate. We can drag the Gator with him, though. <laughs> oh, oh. Come on. You know you want him. Well, I was really hoping that we could just drag him in front of the gator. That doesn't seem to work. So now you do need to be very careful. Now this works with uh, gators, bears. Now cougars will attack you instead of the person. So just keep that in mind. Maybe this gator just isn't hungry. We're going to walk up pretty close to him. I think this gator's broken. Are you dead? Oh, you're not dead. Good gator, good gator, good gator, good gator. Oh, yes. Oh, that was beautiful. Now, you can also feed people to pigs, but they need to be dead first. So you could feed them to a gator and then to a pig. But regardless, Yo, that does conclude the episode for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your support on the Red Dead Redemption 2 series. And if you have any favorite ways to dispose of people that annoy you in this amazing game, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ways that you like to torture people. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.